Well, let's get the analysis on the spending review that we've all been waiting for. Norman Smith is our assistant political editor. Robert Peston is our economics editor. Um, Let's start with you, uh, Norman. Where does this spending review leave the Conservatives politically? Well, it leaves George Osborne feeling pretty pleased with himself. I just passed him in the corridor where he was joking... Well, I suppose can pat himself down and think his leadership prospects are still on track. Robert Peston, where did the Chancellor get all this money from? He's not going to ITV, is he? <laughs> <laughs> now, I've, I've obviously taken a small fraction of my ITV uh, remuneration and passed it his way. Um, no, I mean, basically, he's found £23 billion down the back of the sofa, or at least uh, Robert Choate who runs the OBR has done that for him. Uh, What do I mean by that? Norman said a recovering economy... A laugh and a joke about Chairman Mao. Uh, Norman, I was going to ask you finally about where this leaves George Osborne's leadership ambitions and get a quick Mm. answer from you, but I wonder instead, I should actually ask that of Robert. Um, It is a political question and he's going to have to start talking about politics soon, so (laughs) I'm going to let him give an answer and you let uh, you let me know what you thought of his answer. Robert? Oh, that's so sweet of you, uh, Eddie. Eddie, whatever your name is. I'll, I, I haven't moved yet, have I? Um, so, uh, plainly, he... Well, plainly, start again. This is a brilliant way in my new... Am I really live? Good, nobody told me that. Um, what do I think? I think that it today... Well, look, all that to look forward to on ITV. (laughs) Uh, Robert, thanks so much. Uh, Norman, no time for your analysis, but we're very grateful to both of you, Robert Peston and Norman Smith. Paul Lewis from Radio 4's Moneybox is here.